Alors, merci à vous. On va essayer d'être euh, le plus véloce possible. Euh, Madame la ministre, euh, je vais vous demander de faire le même exercice que, que Simon tout à l'heure, puisqu'on est au début, de, au début de ce panel, de nous tracer peut-être euh, d'un point de vue extrêmement global, stratégique du royaume en termes d'énergie renouvelable euh, et en termes de développement durable. Euh, merci, cher Faisal. Euh, je pense que les, les, je vois le, le nombre de personnes avec un casque de traduction. Je pense que je vais donner un petit break au traducteur et, et je vais peut-être vous parler en anglais aussi pour, pour, pour le bénéfice de notre chère amie Nandita qui est là. Donc, we are uh, gathering in beautiful Marrakech. I think uh, it's definitely a land of tolerance and a land of congregation, but I think more, more importantly, and, and Faisal, you, you've mentioned it rightly, I think a land of resilience, because Marrakech, as you know, is, has been highly dependent on tourism and is just coming up from two years of the pandemic, and I think it's important to mention that and to pay tribute to the population of Marrakech who is hosting us um, for these meetings. Um, Morocco's commitment to a just and an, an inclusive energy transition. I, I always get this question, and I think given that we are meeting on the sidelines of, uh, uh, of uh, the annual meeting of the governors of the EBRD, uh, I mean, I really have to say that Morocco ticks all the right boxes to speak the language of, the multi of a multilateral development bank. Um, the first box that we tick is, as it was rightly pointed out by the, uh, the, 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 the EBRD, by our ministers, it, it's a voluntary political choice made at the highest level of the state by His Majesty the King Mohammed VI, may God assist him, more than two decades ago. So that's the reason why we invested heavily and we made the first movers' mistakes, some first movers' mistakes, Um, over the last two decades in uh, renewables, in energy efficiency, and in regional integration. And that's quite important for, as you know, for what we are trying to achieve as far as gas is concerned. So our strategy is very simple. It's in three simple keywords. Sustainability, including financial sustainability, by the way. Uh, flexibility, because we want to remain flexible and competitiveness, so the cost is, is, is definitely important. I think the other box that we tick is uh, an undeniable commitment to our international climate initiatives. It has already mentioned uh, before, so I won't delve into the details, but for those of you, and I recognize many faces that I met at COP26 in Glasgow, Morocco has adhered to most of the political declarations and initiatives, including the power in past coal Uh, initiative and the Declaration on Just Transition. Another major box I think we tick is an ongoing sector reform. And that's quite important to us because when I mention flexibility, we want to remain flexible so that our strategy is resilient against future shocks, and there will be a f some future shocks but also because we want to make life easier for investors and, and for our dear Minister Delegué pour l'Investissement as well. Um, so we are aware of the urgency, the, the, the necessity to reform the energy sector as a whole to improve the business climate, but mainly to make the energy sector even more attractive to private investment, uh, national and international. So we are, as you know, uh, continuously upgrading our laws, the sacrosanct, la sacrosanct loi 1309. Uh, we are working on it, as you know. We have um, la loi 1409, qui est au Parlement. Uh, we have the draft law 8221 uh, that was approved, uh, approved by the Council of Government, Government in um, November 2021, but on a more structural level, because that was your question, Um, we are also working on various parallel tracks. Um, first, and I, I think you heard me saying that already many times, strengthening transparency. 
it's rule number one. It's our, the, the parallel track number one that we are relentlessly working on. Access to information on investment opportunities, including in renewables, but not, not only in renewables. So we are working on setting up some sort of a one-stop shop for investors that are interested in the sector. We want to simplify administrative procedures, particularly if we want to open for medium and low voltage in the electricity sector. We want to, we have already work, we are already working in the uh, amendment of the law for granting certificates of origin, the tra tradable green certificates for the origin of the electricity, the, the so-called green electrons. We are reviewing holistically the full electricity value chain because we definitely want to give better visibility to investors over the regulatory framework and so on. We want to clarify the roles between the different players that have been active in the sector for the past 20 years. That's very key to us. More specifically, a couple of words on governance. Uh, we are working with the national utility company on a clear separation of activities, you know, generation, transportation, and distribution, because we want to have uh, more transparency on the cost of each service. We are redefining the role of the pr principal buyer as opposed to the single buyer, and we are thoroughly redefining the notion of sovereign guarantee and where sovereign guarantee is needed, and we are working a lot with our friends uh, from the EBRD on that. So we are pushing for a paradigm sh shift at the same time by making our public entities responsible and accountable for their choices. And a couple of words on sustainable development. We want to operationalize um, our strategy, a national strategy of sustainable development, simply by putting costs on, and on externalities, costs and incentives on positive and negative externalities. And we want to strengthen the cost-benefit approach uh, for all public and private actors. I mean, I, I can say later on a few words on the prerequisites for that and the opportunity, actual opportunities for investments if you want. Thank you so much, Minister.